Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I don't think it's spring yet, but it feels like spring. Like I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and the sun's out and it's warm and my lips are chapped so bad. That has nothing to do with it, but uh, here we are, feeling like spring. Uh, I was gonna do some riding, uh, gotta feed. Of course, right now I'm feeding my horses and my trainer's horses. So, um, let's get to feeding. <laughs> got my riding boots so I'll be riding in my muck boots which is great and all but guys there's a Clydesdale look at her her name is Pearl she makes everybody else look tiny these are the horses that I'm bringing in you can see Dash and then there's um, let's see if I can point them out oh <laughs> that's Chimmy that's Bridges and behind Dash is Kiss so let's let these peeps out everyone no Daisy not you if I can get this I'm done that would be helpful okay all right you're on the wrong side of the fence Jimmy go on Bridges go on go on uh, hey be nice it's not the end of the world just stops right there. Oh, there's grain all over the ground. No wonder y'all are just standing here. All right. Jimmy, I have you some food. I don't have you food. I 
patience is a virtue. Atticus. I know. You're anxious. I'm going to bring it. I gotta just go get Rio. Get Rio! Hi! You didn't hear me when I drove by? He looked right at me. Alright, calm down. Scooch back. Go on. It's in the stall. The only open stall. Not. This is not it. Come on. Keep going. All the way in. Yeah. Past my car. <laughs> Go in to the barn. Oh. Jeez. Yes. The one stall door. Yes. Yes, yes. There you go. Whew. I kind of like ran. And I came here from working out, so. Jeez. Everybody's eating. We'll check back in with y'all later. Well, I'm planning on riding Dash in the arena. And I'm planning on riding Rio in the pasture. So Rio needs to be ridden first because there isn't a light source in the pasture besides the sun. But since I'm riding Dash in the arena, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some lights. Ooh. Yep. Just going to... It is amazing out here. It feels so good right now. If the weather could be like this, like the majority of the time, I would be happy. All right. Now we just wait for them to finish eating. All right, so some of the horses are done. I'm gonna let out the ones I don't need and hopefully the ones I do need will be done eating. Let's release the horses.
sorry. Alright, so me and Rio are ready to go out in the pasture and ride. Um, I was an idiot and thought I had charged my uh, GoPro and turns out that it did not charge. Um, I, it was plugged in and I thought that maybe like I had charged it and it was all the way charged and I just took it off so I could charge something else. But no, I think I was going to charge it and then forgot to plug it in. All right, I'm gonna jump on. All right, um, my stirrups are extremely long because <laughs> one of the kids I teach, who is a young man, and he <laughs> he has grown a lot, and he usually uses this saddle. So I just would rather, you know, have kind of long legs and this one ride than have to change it again. Besides. These clunky boots don't do me any good anyway. Rio, we haven't been out in here in a while. Not you and me anyway. We're not gonna do anything crazy. Nothing crazy. <laughs> good golly. Feels so weird, my legs are just like dangling down. I might as well. Ugh. not have stirrups on, but that's okay. We're good. <laughs> it's very hard to post with really long stirrups. The sun's going down, but it's still light out and it gives everything this pretty look. All right, Rio. He's like, how dare you make me do anything? How dare you? Oh, gotta scratch your leg. Gets itchy down there. Oh, I know. Um, coughs a lot. Well, not a lot. Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. Rio will sometimes cough when he's first getting started in a workout. And I was like really freaked out about it because I was like, oh my gosh, he's coughing. What's wrong? You know? And so I did some research and um, was paying attention to him very closely because if he's coughing out in the pasture, then obviously that's something that's an issue. Well, it turns out that like some of us, you can get congested or, you know, snot in your nose and you gotta cough up some of that snot that's in your throat. <clears throat> like when you work out, like I just did, things like that. 
And so horses do the same thing. If they've got any kind of snot in their throat, anything like that, they cough it up before an exercise. So it makes their airways free and easy to breathe. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. <laughs> he just tripped over his own feet. Goodness. Rio. He's got big clunky feet. Anyway, so it's nothing to worry about. He coughs at the very beginning of a workout and then he never coughs again. Doesn't cough out in the pasture when he's walking around, doing whatever, not while he's eating. Huh. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. <laughs> so yeah, nothing to worry about because it was freaking me out for sure. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. Like, look at the Clydesdale. Look how tall she is. Like, holy crap, she's so freaking tall. She makes all the other horses look like ponies. I mean, there's a mini horse right there, but the other horses are just regular sized horses. They're not short. In fact, that one just directly in front of her is taller than Rio and Dash, and she makes them look like ponies. Hello, Pearl. She is one of the sweetest horses. Wait. Anyway, I just think that's crazy. She makes everybody look so tiny. All right, we're done with Rio. So we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna hop off and then we're gonna grab Dash. And we still got sunlight to burn. All right, Dash and I are ready. So we're gonna go some work in the arena. And like I said, I don't have my GoPro, so this is going to be fun. Okay, so I feel much more secure in my stirrups that actually fit me. <laughs> um, the sun is going down, but I got my lights, so if it all gets dark before I leave, I'll be good. Right, Dash? It's okay, whatever. I don't care. I didn't want to work today. Um, Kind of regret not grabbing a jacket before I came out here, but I didn't, so here we go. <laughs> this will be fun. Yeah, it's much easier. Gotta get all that snot out. I think the camera scared him a little. He's like, what's that? What's that? That's okay. something so love this boy he's amazing smooth canter typically gets on the correct lead very easily <laughs> I don't know why it took him so long to get on the correct left lead he normally has no problems with that it's normally the right lead and he picked up the right lead no problem anyway <laughs> my point is the last go around we were going on the right lead <laughs> stopped beautiful stop all sitting in 
<laughs> I just like tucked butt under. It was nice and low and just perfect. This stop, and I think it has somewhat to do with his, um, his back end where he ripped a couple muscles. And sometimes he will come to a stop and he will just um, hollow out and bounce those back legs. And it is, <laughs> as you can see on video, it, um, it sucks because I bounce like I've never stopped on a horse before. <laughs> and there's literally nothing I can do because <laughs> sitting back in the saddle, which is what you're supposed to do, makes you bump up worse. Because he's just bumping up that back end. Anyway, but he was a dead boy. He was. Oh, yes, he was a good boy. All right, we're going to work on the barrels a little bit and then we'll be done. for a second. Take a breath.
All right, and we're all done with our... What you looking at? Some people talking up there at the house. Anyway, we're all done with our barrel work, so we're gonna walk down and be done for the day. And you see how calm he is right after like pretty much running the barrel pattern? That's because that's not what we do all the time. We don't just do the barrel pattern all the time. We go out on trail rides. Sometimes I go in here and I don't even do the barrel pattern. I just do big circles, things like that. And that keeps him from breaking mentally, thinking, oh, I gotta chase the barrels. Oh, I gotta chase the barrels. Now, don't get me wrong. He gets really excited about them, but uh, he doesn't lose his mind. Oh my gosh. Do y'all hear that? Okay, if you didn't hear that, which I'm hoping you did, that was owls. Whoa. Okay, so we have a couple of those owls like near our house, like literally in our yard. And they make this noise. They literally sound like monkeys. They're like, wah, 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 wah. like, oh, it is so freaky. I mean, during this time of the day when there's still light outside, it's not really that bad. I just heard it and I was like, oh my gosh. But um, when you've never heard that sound before and you're out at night and it's dark, completely dark, and you are surrounded by trees and you're letting the dogs out and you hear that and it sounds like it's literally like right next to you it's so loud um it will make you um almost uh relieve yourself um i nearly did and freaked out completely because i'm thinking what the heck kind of animal is that and until i learned what it was it <laughs> i was I was thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to have to shoot something? Like, is something going to come at me? But, um, after I learned what it was, uh, it's still freaky to hear when you're not expecting it, but it's not as scary. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are done with our ride. I am going to let this big boy out after I brush him and walk him down. And then I will be headed home. It's getting chilly. I'm glad that I'm going to be able to put on some more clothes. <laughs> but uh, thanks, you guys. What the heck was that? Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Say bye to me and Dash. Say bye, Dash. Dash said, I don't know if you're talking about woman. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.